Hey everyone, welcome to our first real pedicure video where unfortunately the video didn't film properly so because Mr. Son was getting his pedicure done instead of being Mr. Cameraman so unfortunately part of my head was missing so I don't want to reshoot to the whole beginning of the video so so hopefully you'll have a little bit of patience but the content is there thank you so much for watching guys bye hi everyone hi everybody in today's video we are going to be doing a pedicure yes I'm actually excited me too it took us a while to film the pedicure so thank you so much for your patience but we kind of figured out how to do the filming so hopefully it works okay so how am i doing pedicures i do i really prefer dry pedicures and this is what we are going to be doing and today we are going to be using also api scrub this one mm -hmm. so we're gonna we all know how much i love the scrubs yeah but we'll test how it works and this api cream and Let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. So first of all, I have the client sit down and um, I'm really lucky or lucky to have this beautiful chair. And at the end of the video, we are going to give you a short tour on how everything works. But I have a very good, is it hydraulic? No, it's the elec electric chair. Electric chair. It's an electric chair. <laughs> that didn't sound too good. So it's, it raises up and down and it moves. So I have the client in a very good position it, and I'm also it's like a sitting. a dental chair. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So um, I have the feet kind of um, facing down a little bit, mm -hmm. moved down. So they are nice and straight. And I like to look around at, um, and check the feet and see if, if everything is healthy because our job here is to to beautify healthy feet my job is not to correct any medical issues that people might be having so i usually do that over the phone initially or if i'm booking over the text whatever i ask the clients also some of these questions as well mm -hmm. just if they're coming for what reason they're coming for and to make sure that their feet are healthy okay so and then you do an assessment once and i do the feet. assessment and i sanitize the feet so here's what we're going to do so i use um, we just started using the hot towels, so it's still nice and hot. Not really. By nice and hot, she needs nice and cold. No, it's warm. Okay, Fantastic. so yeah. So first of all, I look at the feet. Yeah. Look at everything. Okay, this this one is broken. What happened? Look at what I have to do. Ooh, that is still. Warm. Yes. Ah. And the other foot. <sighs> okay, so now we're going to spray the feet with alcohol. Make sure that they're nice and moist. It's nice and clean. Oh, that's it. And in a second, you'll be able to see everything a little bit better because we have a second camera here. So okay. you could be, you could be wear, uh, wearing gloves, and I usually recommend wearing gloves. So now again, I'm going to wipe the feet, mm -hmm. and then we will start working. There's a bruise here, right? Eh? Where? Here. Is that a bruise? Yeah. Oh. How about that? I'm going to put my filter on. This is a Salon Air Vodex. It has a nice remote control. It's nice because it's uh, you can clean it very easily. Okay, so I'm going to use little napkin here okay so i'm going to use these clippers which i really like because they um you hold them this way it's very very good on the uh, on the hand so when i clip the nails i actually when i'm clipping i put my finger over the the nail so the nail does not fly all over the place and then i just put it here 
So what I do is I, with this end, I, I feel underneath the nail, so I just clip the nail and I don't clip the skin. What happened to these nails? Mm -hmm. Let's maybe not talk about it. Here, I know it's not going to fly away. I just feel it. Okay, wow, these are long. All right, so now I'm going to pull back the nail fold. And I do one piece at a time. I don't clip the whole nail, obviously. And I just do little clips. And I don't, I, I don't try to be too perfect because I'm going to still shape the nails. So I'm going to do for this, for the sake of this video, one foot. We'll see. So hopefully you can hear me now over the, uh, can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? All right. Okay, perfect. So I like still using the metal files from Erica because they are very nice and you can you can fit it right underneath. So I don't file the corners round. I just make sure that the corners are not sharp and digging into the skin. And the nail is nice and straight across. And make sure you don't cut the nails too short either. Like they have to be like when you press on the on the toe, a little bit further away from the end, but they should not be too too short because sometimes nails that are too short that um, actually you can encourage them into in like grow into the skin because the corners have to be free to grow out, right? So for the sake of this video, normally I don't do that, but this is actually not a bad idea. It is not a bad idea because it's um, oops, it's a new lamp uh, that I just got from Melody Susie. Oh, okay. And hopefully you can see better. Okay, so what I do now is, okay, so when I'm doing this, so I'm filing like this, then with my thumb, pulling back the skin this way, this way. Um, I'm going to do a dry, I mean, because we already mentioned that it's going to be a dry pedicure with the electric file. And if you are interested in me using um, a cuticle remover because you don't have electric file or you're not interested in using electric file, then we'll make another video. You can just move your foot a little bit. Using like more of a traditional setup. So let us know in the comment section and also let us know in the comment section if you are a nail technician or if you are um, not a nail technician you're just learning to do your own uh, pedicures or just curious all right so now going to use a pusher and what I'm doing now is I'm pushing back not the cuticle but I'm pushing back the, the skin the living skin so the proximal fold so I'm separating separating cuticle from the proximal fold if it's possible so I'm not really pressing a lot I'm doing this pretty gently. I'm 
And actually the cuticle here is lifting very easily as well. Okay, now, so here, I'm not sure if you can see it. This is the proximal fold, and this underneath is a cuticle. So there are two pieces of skin, and people think there is one piece of skin. And surprise, surprise, there are two pieces of skin. One is the living skin, and that's the one on top. And then underneath that skin, there is a cuticle. Sometimes you can go over that area again. Okay. So I will be using the Melody Susie electric file, the Sparkle Plus Pro. Normally I use Erica, but um, I've been testing this e-file and I wanted to test it really, really well to give you guys a good idea on how it's working. So I'm using now on, you know, the RPM, I think, okay, this is 12. I don't know, so I guess it's 12,000, right? So I'm pulling back the skin. This area is sometimes a little bit cal calloused. Pulling back the skin here. So when it comes to feet, you want to make sure that you are gentle. I mean, hands as well. But it's, you don't want to be removing all the hardened skin and and all the callus. You want to smooth it because people very often need the callus because the callus is there for a reason to protect the underlying tissues. So um, you don't want to you don't want to remove it. You just want to smooth it so it looks good. But you don't want to make sh like you don't want to make that skin a baby smooth skin because that uh, people are going to end up with blisters, especially people that are into sports or do a lot of walking. You also want to be super careful with people that are diabetic, so you don't break the skin. So normally, if the client has a nail polish, I remove it. Believe it or not, with pure acetone. Because the pure acetone gives me that, you see, everything is nice and very dry, so I can see what's going on. Alcohol helps too. So this is, I'm really not pressing on it. I'm just kind of looking for that cuticle and I'm removing it. I actually like this lamp here, it's really good. So the lamp that I have from Melody Susie is they, they send me the lamp for me to kind of evaluate. But um, but it is on the market already. So it is a combination, uh, it has an LED if you double click on the top and a regular light, visible light. Um, if you click again, so I'm using just a normal visible light. I'm not a fan of the, the LED because uh, it's a topic for another video. <laughs> but other than that, it gives a pretty good light, additional light. Like I, I probably for pedicures, I wouldn't use it as, a, as my only source of light. So I'm almost doing also, uh, wireless. Yes, it's wireless, so it's good. It's working, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to turn it off. Okay, so this was on 12. And okay, so I use this bit, which is a medium, small, tapered barrel from Erica, and there are links in the description box. So now I'm going to use also a medium cone bit from Erica. I'm really sad that Erica is not making the e-files anymore. Very sad. Yeah. So now I'm going to uh, on forward in a forward um, what do you call it? Position. Position machine. I'm going to just kind of clean up the, the corners a little bit. So I'm pulling the skin and again this is very very light. I'm not I'm really making sure that I'm not filing the nail. And 
just cleaning this here a little bit and then later I'm going to clean underneath as well that new and I just go over these areas sometimes there's a little bit of callus here and now we have to understand and majority of people don't understand and that's where they make the biggest mistake is they don't understand the difference between callus and dry skin so callus we can reduce a little bit so it looks nice and smooth now I'm going into reverse so I'm gonna wait for the machine to stop completely and then I'm putting it in the reverse um, so we can smooth the callus a little bit, although clients should maintain their feet every week at home. Every week, file them a little bit. So just give the feet a little buff and cream at least once a day, urea-based cream. That's how you maintain the calluses if you have, if you have them. And that's how you also prevent dry skin because very often, I can't even tell you how many times I had clients ask me to or expect me to remove the dry skin by filing so that is not how things work and I will show you on the heels um, later on how to tell the difference so now there's sometimes this impacted cuticle on the side Here, I'm not snipping the proximal fold, I'm just removing the cuticle. Okay. So now what I do is I spray some alcohol. And we are going to just clean off the, uh, the sides a little bit. So I do this part very, very gently. I don't separate the skin. Make sure that you do this very, very gently so you don't cause trauma. So what I do here, I do go like this, pull the skin back, turn the needle to the side. And very often people think that they have ingrown toenails and they don't, they just have the skin impacted underneath, which is putting pressure and it's hurting them. And once you remove it and you clean it, all of a sudden, all that pressure is gone. Um, if someone has truly ingrown toenails, then this is not a job that I can, I mean, this is not something I can help them with. So if their nails are just uncomfortable, um, then I can definitely do something about it. But if they, this is where a good consultation comes into place before the pedicure, because I've had situations where I had clients trying to uh, book an appointment and when I ask them, um, you know, what they expect out of the appointment, what's, what can I help them with? They tell me, for example, they have excessive calluses and they hurt. So then I send them to a pathologist. Same thing if they tell me that they have ingrown toenails and they hurt or they're bleeding or they're infected, then I also send them to a pathologist. Or, Pathologist is here, but what do you call them in the States? Oh, he's sleeping. Uh, podi podiatrist, yeah, podiatrist. Okay. Okay, so this is it for this foot. Normally, uh, if someone is not wearing polish, then you don't have to be that, you know, um, exact when it comes to the cuticle because it's not like 
you know you can really see it it's just that if especially if you're doing a polish then this area has to be very nice and clean okay this is very good uh, buffing blocks I use um, this is I don't know probably 180 grit so it's a little bit too harsh so what I do is I take the file and I make it much smoother and I don't okay so the surface here is a little uneven but you know what there is nothing we can do about it it is what it is so I'm just cleaning up the cuticle area and just smoothing out the free edge and I'm not going to buff the full nail because buffing can do more harm than good so just the area where the cuticle was just to smooth it and also the corners a little bit so they're not sharp and free edge basically okay so let's do the other foot now okay so here we go so normally um i actually twist myself normally i actually twist myself out of the because it's actually more easier to work this way pull my finger here so put my finger here so i can see what i'm doing and snip the nails so normally what i do is i work um on both feet at the same time but here for the purpose of this video i'm not because the camera has to be set up So you see how I'm holding? I'm holding it here. I'm not holding it far away. It's important to have a full control. Okay, so now I'm going to turn towards you and very often I work from the middle out as well it just depends on the nail and depends on my uh, angle and I really feel for the underneath on here uh, to make sure that there is no hypernychium so I don't clip that skin because that would be very painful so this is better to just cut a little bit at a time If someone has very, very dry nails, then filing might be better because nails that are very dry. So now I'm going to put myself in this position, turn around a little bit. I have to say I have quite a few clients that new clients that came in and they um, they their nails are not cut properly this is a very common thing so now hold with my two fingers and then yeah so usually they have the the corners really messed up the nails are cut around and there was like little slivers and which once they start growing they really dig into the skin and it takes a while for it to kind of get corrected Normal pedicures, I would say, take me between 45 minutes to an hour, but the nail polish, an hour and 15 minutes. I do really exclusively dazzle dry pedicures now. I don't use any gel polish on toes. It's unnecessary. I really don't like it. Dazzle dry dries so quickly in five minutes that it's i don't have to use any gel polish so client walks out so they can put their shoes on after the pedicure and what i do is i i polish the nails first and then i do 
the foot massage because the took foot the took massage the foot massage takes me about oops 10 minutes so i spent 10 minutes on the foot massage and by then the uh the nails are completely dry so that's wonderful so when i'm finished the appointment people right away put their shoes on and they're amazed by the way also i'm going to link a video at the end of the video showing you the difference between the regular polish and dazzle dry when it comes to yellowing of the nails and when it comes to uh, surface damage of the nails so it doesn't really happen with dazzle dry i mean it can still happen but the the uh, the surface damage because anything that you sometimes bond onto the surface of the nail can possibly cause damage but nothing absolutely nothing like you would see with a, a like a regular polish so now this is all proximal fold that i'm pushing back so i'm kind of separating it nudging it a little bit so then we have cuticle left on the nail plate okay i forgot to mention one more thing um i mean there are there is no callus later on we'll talk about the calluses and the dryness so if someone has callus or a lot of dryness i put spray urea spray on the bottom of the feet but we don't have any callus there is no dryness even so Okay, so now you can see that the proximal nail fold is here and the white here is a cuticle. And I don't try to uh, shove the cuticle underneath the proximal nail fold. But instead I will remove it with the e-file. And here I'm not rounding, or well, I'm not making the corners round, but rather I make sure that they're smooth and they're not digging into the skin. Okay, so now uh, back to the, the other bit. So when I do both feet, I don't have to switch the bit so much, right? Which is a good thing. When you are working with electric file, make sure that it was on reverse, that you have a proper, and I mean proper, um, extraction, because you do not want to be breathing this in. And that whole notion that cleaner feet are cleaner than hands is not the case. They are not because very often, so I'm going to just round off this a little, well, not round off, smooth, smooth out this. Because very often what happens is people are, there are many people that are unable to, to scrub their feet properly. And when they are washing themselves, everything flows down and then ends up, believe it or not, underneath the nails. So you don't know, you definitely don't want to be filing it, getting into the air and breathing it in, or you don't want that to be also settling on your tools and all around and ending up on, you know, surfaces and then on other people, possibly. So yeah, proper extraction, HEPA filter is necessary. Uh, made specifically for the uh, nail industry, or you can buy electric file that has uh, extraction. And they're expensive, but they this is something that you just have to invest if you are, you know, interested in doing pedicures. It's just cost of doing business. Also, I would highly suggest uh, the, the chair, the one that I have, because it's expensive. I don't know how much we paid for it. I would say that we suggest a 
like yeah not the exact one because the company was not the best to deal with we had a bit of a hard time but the chair is good it's, it's good i like it the quality is, no, the quality is good the most yeah and it was like what how much was it 1300 euros so about 1500 dollars something like that plus Canadian, no, but it was plus tax, no? Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, something for that. Something yeah. Yeah, so, and the reason why, because you can move the clients, it's so much more comfortable, you can sit properly. Um, there's a big difference. Mm -hmm. Big difference. And clients like it too. I mean, ideally, if you, and I always kind of wonder, how come the industry is not more like interested in utilizing a certain equipment and sharing with other people? So for example, like this chair, in my case, it was so expensive, it was such an expensive, um, what do you call it, uh, purchase or like expense, but it's not being used properly right like it's not being used all day so it's too bad that uh, people don't get together and like set up one place and then share the hours or something yeah like a group buy no I mean there are pros and cons obviously no no but otherwise just like dentists right like you don't have a dentist set up like a big huge office and then just one person it's just too much it's too expensive because I mean the filter was how much was the filter 700 sure. something like that i don't know the bed was uh, so that's already 2000 and then we have the machine okay so this e-file is let's say 150 so it's not that expensive uh, that one but the other the erica like 175 okay the erica was more expensive the bits are expensive i mean okay so let's not talk about bits but like equipment It's just the cost of doing business. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a nice idea that the I know to be able to do like a group purchase. Well, know. not even group, but two people, and sure. you would share the hours. But yes, in the perfect world, that would yeah. be great. But unfortunately, yeah. Okay. All right. So this portion is done. And I'm going to now clean up the edges. I mean the underneath the nails. And then we are going to do the the bottoms. Again, be gentle in this area because you don't want to be you don't want to break that seal this part very often it really digs underneath the nail and it digs into the skin and it hurts and people think they have ingrown toenails well, that's okay like I just no 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 don't shift anything Again, if you were polishing, you really want to make sure that you get into those little corners. And this, again, this is not the living skin. This is the cuticle underneath. Because notice how my uh, how my tool is uh, 
positioned. And now with that side that's very soft, just a little buff. So at this point, um, actually, at this point, sometimes if someone is in a hurry and they don't want a 10 minute foot massage, because that happens, in extreme rush situation, what I do is I polish now and um, then I file the, the feet after I polish. I don't do um, a lot of filing of the living skin because if I do, it just gets harder, the skin. Okay, so that is done. We are done with this. Okay, so now let's talk about the dry skin versus callus. I feel like some kind of like a surgeon with all these lights. Okay, so what I do is sometimes you see the, the, the white kind of um, skin that's dry and, and hydrated and peeling. So what I do is I press and see if there is if there is a give. And all this skin, there is no callus, really there's no dryness. And there is a give. So make sure you don't file too much and also there need there needs to be because uh, you see this skin is a little bit like yellower which is uh, which indicates that it's a little bit thicker but that's completely normal. You can't remove it. Because if you do, um, the, this, it's going to hurt. So now I'm going to use this bit, which is the air cup pedicure bit. And now I can set the file on a little bit higher. So I don't know if you can see. Okay. Okay. It was in the reverse again. Okay, so now you can see how the dust goes straight into the machine. And this is all I'm going to do. Just I'm going to smooth it a little bit. And that is it. You can look inside to the toes here. They need to be done. If they don't need to be done, don't do it. And then... Okay. If someone has very deep, um, deep cracks, calluses, or like some serious issues, then, then that's not a cosmetic issue, it's a medical issue. And um, it's better if they go to a podiatrist. And it's also, obviously, very important that they maintain their feet. And that's why I very often don't like those before and after pictures, because they suggest that this is how you solve your issues. You just go and you get a pedicure done and your feet are going to be perfect. Meanwhile, that's not the case. You have to maintain your feet and they will be better when you maintain them, right? Yourself. All right. So this foot is done. It's really nice because this tool is very precise so again you're not using this machine to to speed up your pedicures or to skip steps or whatever is you're using it because it's very very precise so you see precision tool bus yeah all right so let's do now so the the cue that i give client is can you bring your toes towards you And I 
usually I feel the, the texture of the skin, so. I have this habit of just checking and feeling the skin. And these uh, these uh, little foot thingies, they, they move, so I mean, I have like cameras in the light around me, so I can't really move it, but you could make it even more comfortable for yourself. Okay, so this is it. I'm not gonna file anymore because the rest of the skin is needed. <laughs> skin is needed. All right, so now on to the normally a nice part, except if you are Uh, him, you don't like it. Where's the and by him, she means Mr. Mr. Solar Life. Life. Yeah. What can I say? I'm not a huge fan of the weird... The weirdness. Yeah. Baking grease, sand, and scrub. Okay, I have the machine running, uh, the filter, the whole time. And let me just move this. Just out with yeah. particles still floating around. Exactly. Nice and Which way do I do this? More cleaner. So now I don't need like... <laughs> okay, one day we're gonna get a better equipment for God's sake. All right, I don't need this. So I usually work, I turn the light off when, when I'm working, um, when I don't need it. It just provides a little bit more relaxing atmosphere. Let's do the scrub. This one's definitely less bacon grease and more sand. I suggest, highly suggest wearing gloves. Okay. If the skin, if someone shaves their legs, then don't scrub it too hard because that skin is already exfoliated, right? With the razor usually. So just be careful. Where people needs additional, need additional scrubbing usually, it's this area. This is hard to get. Here. Right. right. So now this actually feels like it's um, getting a little bit dry, no? Does it? It all no? feels the same. Okay. All right, so here. And then here. And here. And here. And there. All right, so this is enough. Okay, you can do this longer if you want to, but. So I'm using this amount. I like having my, my leg here underneath. Mm -hmm. It's just easier on my, on my, um, my arms. Okay, so again, I'm going to use this. So with the thumbs, you can kind of go over here. These, this area and then here, the tops. Again, be gentle and you can ask the client if they, how they feel because some people's skin is very sensitive. And you know, this is a mechanical scrub. On the feet, it's okay. But um, for some people, it can still be too much. So don't go crazy and uh, ask the client. If they like scrubs, right? Don't just assume. Mm -hmm. If they're okay with the with the scrub, maybe um, maybe they're not. So normally, I'm a, a, a fan of chemical exfoliants, but in this case, like especially for the backs, for this area, scrub is okay. Looks like you rubbed my tan off. Right. Okay, so now hot towels again. Right? Yes. Okay. All right. So personally, I prefer the uh, scrubs that dissolve because they are easier to remove. Mm -hmm. And I took my gloves off because I want to feel for the, for the uh, 
the and surface. This one doesn't remove as well as yeah. some others we've we've uh, tested. Tested, uh, but it still does it's not a bad. Decent job. But you have to use the towel twice in order to get it all off. Oh, that is one. Huh? That is one bruise. Yeah. Oh, All right, so this, hmm. you know, if you have a pedicure chair, you could, I guess, rinse the client's legs this way, but if you're doing a dry pedicure, then it came off mostly. How does it feel? Uh, my foot feels wet. Okay, but does it, do you feel that you have still the grains? Very hard to tell. Okay. Yeah. I would prefer like the citric acid or maybe sugar scrub, but like something that's very fine. This one is very fine. Yeah. Okay, let's just grab the other towel. It's very nice, I mean, overall. If you are interested in maybe different scrubs, then we can do more videos. Let us know in the comment section. I like Which are part. your, huh? I like the warm towel part. Yeah, it is nice. That part I enjoy. Yeah, it feels good. So yes, let us know if you are interested in more pedicure videos and let us know what is your favorite scrub. Because yeah. I would like to know. Yeah. And Give us some the, ideas. And in the next video, we are going to be... Uh, well, if there is a next video, if you are... <laughs> if there is a next video. If you're interested, we can use the CND spa. But for the hands, you know what? Okay, so the, the scrub that I'm using is the RPI hand polish. polish. Micro polish, polish thing, micro like polish, because the other one is much more, uh, it's coarser, I think. Uh, and I'm not a fan of doing these coarse scrubs. scrubs. All right. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we work our way to the final part of our video, which is the lotion. Which is you getting up the chair. Not quite. We need to apply the lotion. Here. So this is where I turn the lights off. <laughs> and let's do, put the oil first. Okay. On the toes without touching the skin. And I would really prefer this of, or any product in the tube. This is because now you need a stick to get it out, out of the thing, right? We'll see how this works for... Um... I don't kind of if it has a good slip. I was going to say, don't be cheap, but I see that you've put yeah. a fair amount of the creme on So what I do here lotion. is I make sure that it's everywhere and I support my uh, the heel with my with my with my leg. Mm. I'm having shoulder issues so it's um, we have to be it's, it helps. Mm. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. But I like. Oops.
Thank you.